It's Christmas every day when your customers leave your online store with a smile because they received a gift on their way out. Be it a great product that's fallen out of style this season, a promotional product or an accessory suiting the customer's order. A well thought out gift can increase your average order value, improve customer satisfaction or raise brand awareness. And this is not a zero sum game. The customers win, you win, everybody wins together. Let me show you how the storefront widget looks like. You can see the gift icon is sticky to the screen. Left or right, up or down, your choice. The small badge on the corner shows how many gifts are available inside. The badge turns into an exclamation mark when there is a claimable gift and turns green when the gift has been claimed. On finger tap or mouse hover, the widget opens into its expanded state. Here, we have a fully customizable text with five different states which we'll discuss in a minute. The gift product is showcased below, with the price crossed out and the customizable tag nearby. Of course, if the gift product has variants, they will be available in the selector below. We wouldn't want to give small size shirts to everyone now, do we? And of course, the beautifully colored claim gift button used to lock that deal once it becomes available. Now, let's go back and see how we created this widget from scratch. From the upsell builder route, we 1. Click create discount offer and 2. Choose gift. Now, before saving, we must make sure to select the gift product first, because otherwise we risk saving a gift offer without the actual gift product, and we definitely don't want that. So let's choose the perfect gift for our customers to close the module and continue. If you paid close attention, you're probably thinking, wait, didn't the other gift have the same color? Yes it did. Even though our systems allow you to create as many gift offers as you'd like, they will be included under the same widget to save screen real estate. So lesson number one. The storefront widget's appearance is shared between all gifts. Ok, but why would I even bother with creating more than one gift offer you might say? Well, that is to personalize the gift to the customer's cart. Why wouldn't you gift a pair of socks on a shoe's order, or a pair of gloves on a sweater's order? But in order to avoid customer confusion, take note of two very important new lessons. Number 2. Be sure to customize the eligible products for your gift offers. Make sure you select all the specific products and or collections where you want customers to reach the spend goal in order to earn the gift. And lesson number 3 of equally important value is to remember to update the text formatting fields accordingly. What you want here is for it to be obvious to your customers that the gift will only be rewarded if they purchase those specific products or collections. So be simple and concise. Use active voice, common words and short sentences. You could say something like Spend X amount in the winner collection to receive a pair of gloves. Or buy for X amount from the winner collection to receive a Santa hat. The bottom line, when your eligible products are specific, remember to specify this in the widget. If you struggle with long words or collection names, you can tailor the font size from the text size slider below. And of course, you can choose the font color to match your theme. Another feature worth mentioning is that the font family is inherited from your theme, not imposed by our widget. And since we're on the subject of text, let's cover the rest of the words you need to be aware of. The GIF widget introduces three new strings that you can customize according to your needs or taste. First, there is the free tag from the widget, found next to the GIF's product price, which is crossed out. Second, it's the call to action button with the default claim GIFT. Note that this string will be replaced with pre-order if you have the pre-order app enabled and there's insufficient stock to provide the GIF product immediately. The third string introduced is present in the car page with the purpose to indicate the product is free of charge. So all three of the newly added strings are found in the Upsell Builder app in the General Settings tab. Simply find the strings in the table and replace them with your desired version. An edge case that you should know is that the gift offer will not be displayed if the gift product has zero stock. This way, you don't need to keep mental track to deactivate the offer when you run out of physical gifts. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If we can help with anything, please let us know. Our customer support team is available 24-7. Thanks for watching and see you soon.